Alrighty guys, Titans here. Just draw the out guys, just draw the out, I love it. So, we are here at the Edmonton 2023 Regional for Photon Hypernova. We got ourselves the number four placed Blake Morrison. How are you doing today, buddy? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Got fourth, only lost once, and that was to Live Twin Sprite, and it was not winnable. Um, it was a tough match. Yeah, yeah this is, uh, you've, you've been on the channel a few times now, hey? I think, <laughs> this, I think this is the second time, actually, yeah. so yeah, you've been, you've been doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, what did you play today? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah all the mats. Uh, so I played Cash Tira. Okay, um, okay, best deck of the format. It, it is the best deck of the format. I don't I still think the deck kind of sucks because it's like it bricks so much. Yeah, but it's like better than every other deck Yeah, I 100% yeah. agree. I also yeah. took the same deck and yeah, I, yeah. I bricked at least two out of my at least two matches Yeah, at least two matches. The, the joke with our friends is uh, it's the deck that it's the best deck you won't win with. Yes. Because you'll brick, but some other guy will have a good day and he'll win with the deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How many times did you five lock, five zone lock somebody? I did not five zone lock anyone. Today. No. No. Oh I god. never drew it and didn't get hand trapped at the same time. Okay. So. I mean, yeah, that is fair. One hand trap literally stops that combo. Yeah. So they just drew the out, I guess. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. All right. Anybody you want to shout out before we start? So uh, shout out starting with my girlfriend Shay. She's a huge supporter of me playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and I love her so much. Aw. Uh, she, I go to events. All the time and she has no issues with it and she's always supporting and cheering me on and that's every that's awesome round. to hear man that's um, awesome all my buddies here tyler sherwood all of them uh, tyler just got his invite for nats and he already had his flight booked without his invite because oh, he's wow. a dirty mongrel <laughs> um and then all my friends down in halifax that i do an insane amount of testing with nice uh, the guys down at ecg um like angus josh jt all of them and then finally Gotta shout out Common Box Games. Oh, the best of course. Locals in Edmonton. Of course. Order yep. singles here. It's yes. not mine, but I love everyone who works there. Yes, I've been there. That last regional they held was very good. Yeah, absolutely. I 100% agree. All right, let's All right, get let's so let's get into this list. Let's see what let's see what you played. Obvious stuff. Unicorn, Fenrir, Ooh, and then for nice the ulti bonus fence. guys, we have a uh, Riseheart, Scareclaw, Ogre. Um, we just played one because oh, okay. it very rarely comes up that you need two. Um, I really, really, really wanted to cut the ogre because I almost never make the five zone lock happen. Yeah. But um, and I wasn't playing preparations. Gotcha. Um, and I was right because I feel like this card was awful all day. Every time I drew it, it was only good if I drew it with a theosis and needed to do that play. Yeah. And very rarely did it search big bang and then I just pass. Yeah. It was like a thing I could do when I wanted to do a rise pass. Yeah. Um. I think if I had to go back, I might cut this for the second Rise Heart so that it kind of fits that same niche where, like, it's another card to draw with Birth or Theosis to kind of unbrick your hand because yeah. this deck bricks all the time. Yeah, I also noticed you're also yeah. not on the Tear Cache either. Yeah, I'm not on the Tear Cache. I'm not a big fan of that card. Fair, um, fair. I, I wasn't I, I a hate... huge fan either. I, I put it in last minute, but I'm like, eh, yeah. a little iffy. I, I hate that it doesn't, um, like, do anything for you if yeah. you brick. And then, like, I very rarely needed extending. Like, I'd rather just open another, like, a Rise Heart while extending. Yeah. And I'm not worried about drawing two one-ofs to get you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then, like the ogre, it's just I I was gonna I was gonna cut this last night, but I didn't want to cut it for a th second to rise heart, and yep. I like was too scared that I had it test enough to only play eight cash tier monsters. Yeah. So I just put it in, and yeah. then I sided it out like almost everything. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, and then I'm doing the engine first. Yeah. So field spells, births, theosis. Um, and then the Prosperities and all, Desires. Yep, all pretty standard So this standard is like stuff. the necessity. I don't think you should play two Theosis because it's like this deck bricks all the time. And you need yes. as many, even if it's like a two card combo, you need like ways to, if you open Fenrir, it's not dead. Like, yep. you know, like it, it doesn't get you anything. That's it's true, yeah. It's just all like Unicorn and the Field Spells. Yeah, I 100% um, agree. Yeah, you just, you just can't. Yeah. You and just then, can't like, cut it. With the one Desires. There's an argument to play two Desires, but honestly, um, there's no top cut. And I'm very scared of variants. Yeah. And this may not even be correct logic, but I didn't want to risk breaking too hard on these four. Yeah. No, um, that, that that honestly is sound logic. I yeah. feel like there's also another reason why you only played the one pot. Another reason why I only play one desires. I'll get to that in a minute. Alrighty. So just to wrap this guy up. Yep. Uh, oh, and then also Big Bang, obviously. Of no, course. no preparation, because preparation doesn't help you for the issues the deck has. Like, if you're resolving Rise Heart, you're probably winning the game anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then if you're getting Kaiju, the preparation doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then, like, in 15% of your games, you're just drawing prep, and it's, like, winning more if you're not already losing. You're not breaking boards. Either, yeah, like. yeah, that makes sense. Um, then for the hand traps, I mained three shifter. Um, you mained Shifter. I mained three oh, Shifter. Oh, okay. So, like, let's be realistic here. It's a regional. Yep. This isn't a YCS. I wouldn't main this out of YCS. 
Um, I know I'm not going to play against five rounds of Cash Jira here. Yep. And if you're smart, you're playing for the meta you're expecting to play against. Yep. I played against one Cash all day, and Shifter wow. in the main like smoked everything except for the one generator I played. Wow. Um, and then, actually, I, the, I did draw this against the Cash player, and I used it in draw phase because I wanted to play around talents. Yep. And I didn't know he was on Cash, and then he gammed it. And the logic is, worst case scenario, you draw one, you draw a shifter and it's brick. It's yep. one bad card, right? Yep. Well, they gammed it and then made Omega and ripped a second card. Oh, so no. that sucked. Oh, um, no. I still won that game, though, somehow. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we, uh, we You're just, too, and just too nice with it, Blake. Unicorned our way there. We had three Ash. Yep. It's just generically good against everything, and I was really scared that there'd be a ton of branded. Yep. Uh, Imperm, same. It's a regional, generically good against everything. Of course. Um, Book of Moon, this beats everything when you go first. Going second, it sucks against some of the decks. Like, yep. trading one for one with, like, sprite cards kind of sucks. But, um, like, I need something that's good against cash. Yeah, right? exactly. Right? Something I can cross into or just try to have. And then it's always good going first. Yeah. If I draw this, I don't feel scared to go a rise pass because I have so much, like, follow-up to not lose to the board. Yep. But if I draw all engine, then I'll go the full soft lock because uh, otherwise I'll just lose. To yeah, them. well, yeah. And then uh, we played two lance and two talents for oh, each okay, of these yep. spells. Yep, that sounds pretty solid as so, well. Like trap decks, book of moon, stuff like that. And then yep. like talents. I was really trying to minimize drawing too many of um, like two of the same card because you need like every card in your hand to be live to break yep. the board these days. Yep. Um, so I'm only playing two of this and very often like a second lance doesn't come up. Or a third lance, two in the same hand doesn't come up. No. Um... So I just kind of wanted to spread it out. I didn't want to go into three talents, and then the last two slots were just two lances. Yeah. Because they're just generically good against everything. How many how many times did this card taken a, taken a rise? Oh, um, it did not take an arise, but okay. funny story, my only loss today was against uh, Live Twin. Oh. And game three, I was breaking the board. Yep. He, I dark rulered him, he had nothing. Uh, I baited him to use IP first. Then I talents to look at his hand, and my other three cards are all engine gas. Like, there's no way I can lose. Yep. I look at his hand, he has droll, so I rip the droll because I need to search twice yep. to be able to play. Then he, he also chained uh, freezing curses on it, drew two cards, and drew flashing fire nip. Oh my god. So I. <laughs> you can't, so the, li li literally the only combination that yeah, would have beat the, that. Exactly. Because the flashing fire made me summon five times, which I wouldn't have tried to if I didn't have to play into it. And yep. then the nib cracked the board. And then he top deck tip for turn. Oh. Or, or had to. Jesus. But I, I had to rip the droll. So Jesus. The runic guy, he was a good guy though. I couldn't beat him. Um, Did you I, get drolled at all today? I did get drilled a lot. I got hand trapped a lot. I wasn't on these. I was on second Rise Heart three lance before. Yep. Um, but I got hand trapped like so much on Dueling Book recently. Fair. Um, and just like at locals. So I just wanted like something else to kind of help you push through hand traps or like punish your opponent for doing them. Yeah, that makes sense. And then like it's good going second too. Um, for the extra deck, we'll go that first. So we played three Rise Heart. Obviously, it's good against. You need to play three for cash, but yeah. you can like banish one on Pros if you're against. Hundred percent. Yeah. Era for the five zone lock. If you're not playing Ogre, you can probably cut this to one, but I'd be too scared to do it. Yeah. Two Zeus. Uh, for the one ofs, uh, like Draco Sack, like occasionally the tokens help, but it's really just for outing skill drain. Diablos yep. is for the combo, and like making Zeus with this is hilarious. Yep. Uh, one big eye, because like they're going to rip a card from me extra, and. So you, um, never, you never felt like you needed that second big eye? I never really eye. felt like I needed the second big eye. I did actually use it today, which was nice, but um. Like. I just didn't really think you did the second big guy too yeah. much. It never really comes up. Yeah. I'm playing Talents, so I gotta play Donner, so if I take my opponent's monster against Non-Mirror, yes. uh, I have a way to get rid of it. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, and then these are the three targets for the Prosperity. Okay, yep. Like, yep. like everyone's doing Gamma on your turn now, with yes. pros like Prosperity Small World into Gamma, then rip your card. Yeah, uh, that's true. Heart, so what's, the other one? Nice. what's the other one next to the, the Fossil Warrior there? Uh, so this is the Warrior, this pops monsters, this is the Skull Wagon, this pops back row. Okay, gotcha. Um, funny, because they, they banished themselves, so yeah. You can like re-equip them to the Arise Heart, yeah, which that's is nice. Right. Yeah. Um, and then like with the Garura, you're tr you're hoping that um the Garura draws a card that helps you break the crackback. Yep. But this just breaks the crackback. So if you play in a way to not have no resources for next turn, hopefully, yep. um, then you'd rather just have these. And then um like the Entis, if you get Kaiju, the Entis doesn't do anything. Yeah. So uh that's it for the extra. Yep. Nothing too spicy, really. Yeah, let's see this. Uh, let's see what kind of spice you got in the side deck here. For the here. side, we need three cards, at least, for going first against Kashira to take out for the shifters. Okay, so um, yeah, you opted to play the appointer. How'd the appointer do today? Okay, we were on three judgment, and then I realized why am I on not a pointer? Like, I was playing three because three looks better, but yeah. it, there's only three slots for going first, and a pointer is just the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, this card is so 
good. If you get hand trapped three times and you can't play and you're on like just a unicorn or a Fenrir, yeah. you rip the best engine card from their hand. It doesn't even matter if you can't attach and then they can't play. If you have a Rise Heart Pass, you can like rip the Gamma, you can rip the Karakura, you can rip any the evenly. It deals with whatever the problem is. And then the most important part is you get to see their hand. Yeah. And you're doing like all your interactions from that point. If you like know what you're doing, you can beat every single card exactly because you know exactly what their hand is like. Yeah, that's so, true. So like I look at their hand. I see all the cards, and they summon Fenrir. I know I can banish the Fenrir because they'll use Econ. I'll chain the Lance, and then it won't matter because I know they don't have any cards. Gotcha. You know? like, whereas maybe other times you'd think, maybe I shouldn't arise heart the field spell. Yeah. But you know what's what's coming. You so know you what's can coming. always beat it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then, like, Judgment, because like, I'm getting even lead all the time. And, like, you saw I have, like, Book of Moons and Imperms in my deck. Um, and then, like, it's a it's a regional again, so I don't know what I'm going to play against. Like, I don't want to have D-Barrier and maybe yeah. be good. I don't want Deflector, which will only be good against, like, two decks. Yeah. So it's just generically good against everything. And then, like, same with Eradicator. Like, so I Eradicated it yesterday, which is what I was playing before. Oh, okay. And I Eradicated uh, Plunder Patrol for zero spells in their hand. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, this no, is no value. Like, yes. If I get nibbed or if I get a problem, I want a card that beats them after they Kaiju. Me. Yeah, that you know? makes sense. Uh, and then like the Gamma, it's just generically good against yeah. every single deck. Like, yeah, Gamma is fantastic, especially when the Arise Heart is a mandatory effect. Yeah, like when I go second, this card goes in. And oh, I yeah. never feel bad having it. No. It doesn't matter. Two Bells, because I was there's a lot of branded players in Edmonton. Um, and I want something for the Explosion or the Lubellion to stop them from getting to Dragoon. Yep. Um, like all those things. And then you side in with the Gammas with it and they're really good. Yep. Uh, Dark Rulers, because I'm really scared of Sprites. Uh, like, I don't think Sprite is that insane of a deck, but it can get these crazy boards that you really want to just like deal with. Yeah, and, absolutely. And then like when you go second, you can like just switch these out for Imper uh, switch the Imperms out for this if you don't need to stop someone's combo all the time. Yeah. And it's just a better card all the time. Like against yeah. Tier Limit, you just hit this. Yeah. It's like way better than trading with Imperms. Oh, Dark Rulers just, it's goaded, exactly. honestly. And then the last three are uh, Board Breaker spells. So I have the two lances and these. So that's my five things for trap decks. And then like these are also nice against like Kashira, like dealing with the Book of Moons and the yeah. Birth, and then like their follow ups kind of gone. Um, did you have to deal with any back row matchups today? I did not deal with any hard trap decks except for the generator who like made like played a bunch of skill drains. Yeah. But I had Lance every time he skill drained me. So oh that was wow. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So again, just nice. just too nice with it. Just, just again, nice. <laughs> just just draw to draw the out. <laughs> yes, sir. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Blake. Congratulations again for getting top four. And yeah, we'll probably see you on the channel again, buddy. Thank you. Alrighty, see you later.